In this video, I'm going to show you the rating scale Likert type question, talk about when you might use them, and explain two issues of compatibility. So I had someone uh, reach out to me. I don't really use Likert questions too much or rating scale question types too often, um, but I had someone reach out to me, one of the viewers of my YouTube channel, and just asked if I could review how um, Likert questions work. And there's a couple of things that you need to talk about when you're dealing with Likert questions or Likert questions. I've heard it pronounced two different ways, but rating scales nonetheless. There's a compatibility issue. So as you can see here, I've, I've uh, started a um, responsive design project. And uh, we'll go ahead and we can, we can add uh, a rating scale question. And you would do this from the quiz drop down menu. And there's a couple of ways. You could, of course, do it as a, um, you could, you know, for any type of question, you could do a question slide. You could do, uh, obviously, a random uh, question slide, pre test question slides, and knowledge check. In the case, and let's just look at question slide for right now. Now, in responsive design projects, you'll notice that rating scale is actually grayed out and it's not an option for responsive design. And that really is primarily due to the complexity of, of how the different elements of a rating scale are displayed on, on screen or on your page. And um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's not something that a lot of people use but it is incompatible. So if you're developing a project that's going to require a lot of rating scale um, question types, you're probably going to want to, uh, you know, design that with a standard or legacy project, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's switch over to a standard or legacy type project. Some, some people call them a blank project. So here I have a, a pretty standard project. Now if I was to go in and let's first of all decide we're going to do it as a knowledge check slide. So if I select that you can see actually uh, rating scale is also grayed out. And again it's because it's only really uh, a feedback evaluation and it wouldn't be used for a knowledge check. So there's the second issue of compatibility. And if you were going to get someone's opinion you certainly could do it as a survey question but that would be using a normal quiz slide so if i've selected that from the quiz drop down menu i can select rating scale and i can select the number of of questions that i'm going to include and again you'll notice that that survey is grayed out unlike uh, say multiple choice where you could choose graded survey or pretest Likert scale is only a survey type question. So um, we'll just go ahead and create the one rating scale question. Click on OK to create that. So here's pretty much what uh, rating scale Likert questions typically look like. Um, it, it's usually a statement and you are um, assigning a value between one and five. Um, but you can actually do different scales as well like if you decide that five is too many maybe you only want three so you could change the labels of course here i'm going to leave this default for now with five so you would indicate how strongly you might agree with uh you know with this particular statement whatever it might be and this would be useful for you know, level one evaluations, perhaps at the end of, a, of an e-learning course, you'd like to capture the, uh, the feedback from the users. Uh, you might even design, let's say, a level three evaluation for managers to fill, uh, you know, say 30 days after students have completed a particular e-learning course, and you want to give the managers an opportunity to provide feedback as to whether they're performing those new skills adequately back on the job. And that would be a, a, a great way to, uh, to capture that information. So let's take a look at the quiz panel. That's where most of the, um, the uh, information is. So how strongly you agree or disagree with the following. Now there's one statement here. 
and you would select disagree, somewhat disagree, neutral, somewhat agree, it's a little squashed in there, and, and agree, and you'd have to just adjust a few items to make that work. But you can actually add additional items as well. So let's say we wanted to rate uh, employees, for example, on uh, three different categories. So you could put in three here. That might be a little tight for this slide, but then you could, uh, again, move things around a little bit and use your uh, development and design tools to your advantage. And of course, you can, um, like many multiple choice qu type questions, you can choose uh, whether it's A, B, or C, or one, two, or three, and the different variations there, or simply have nothing written before, uh, no, no bulleting or numbering or anything like that. You can, um, you can have an incomplete caption. The idea there is that if you want to force users to complete this Likert scale before proceeding, that's something you can definitely do. You also can set a time limit. I would uh, hesitate against giving people a time limit unless this survey is designed to simulate something on the job that also has a time limit. I don't think it's very fair to put the undue stress, you know, unless that condition exists in real life. And of course, like most uh, question slides, you have the ability to have a clear button, a back button, and a skip button. And in this case, they'll just overlap with our review back and review next buttons. Your action after the survey is completed. Uh, in most cases, you'll probably go to next slide or possibly jump to another slide. And there's really not much point in, in having your users complete a survey unless you do some kind of reporting. And you could put your own interaction ID here so it's easy for you to find this information in the interaction reports of your learning management system. And that's basically it. I mean, the, uh, the, the rating scale is pretty straightforward. The only properties that, that are here for you to adjust are, are normal text formatting type items. So, you know, as far as the, um, uh, the actions, it's all just pretty standard. So, in this case here, you're, you pretty much have a, a, a very standard rating scale. I don't think you'd get a lot of questions on a single slide, but the advantage of uh, Adobe Captivate slides is additional slides are always free. So there's not a, a huge issue with, uh, with having to deal with that. Guys, if you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.